Justice Department wants a court to unseal the warrant FBI agents used to search former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. It comes as we're learning more about the legal basis for the search. CBS News does confirm Trump was subpoenaed this spring as a part of the investigation into the removal of classified records from the White House. CBS reporter Skylar Henry is in Washington where the Attorney General spoke about the probe for the very first time. Hey there, good to be with you. Well, Attorney General Garland said that this was not a decision that the department has taken lightly, but it was his personal decision to approve that search. Now, to mar -a lago on Monday, he said that under federal law, he's prevented from going into further detail in terms of the basis of this search, but it just goes to show the latest in terms of the investigations, not only surrounding the former president, but those in his inner circle. Attorney General Merrick Garland says he personally approved the decision to carry out the search warrant at the Florida home of former President Donald Trump. The department filed the motion to make public the warrant and receipt in light of the former president's public confirmation of the search, the surrounding circumstances, and the substantial public interest in this matter. His remarks followed days of criticism and outrage from Republicans and allies of former President Trump over the FBI search at Mar-a-Lago earlier this week. A new Morning Consult political poll shows 49% of registered voters approve of the FBI's search, while 37% say they disapprove. Meanwhile, Mr. Trump maintained his innocence Wednesday, invoking the Fifth you? Amendment more than 440 you? times during a four-hour deposition in New York, stemming from a civil investigation into his business deal. Is it helpful or is it hurtful in terms of legal strategy? It is usually used not in a civil case like this one being brought by the New York uh, Attorney General, but in a criminal case. And in a criminal case, generally, uh, you invoke the Fifth Amendment not to testify at all. Peter Navarro, a one-time advisor to President Trump, was in a D.C. court Thursday following a contempt of Congress charge after he refused to cooperate with the House January 6th committee investigating the attack on the U.S. Capitol. Trump's former personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, is due in front of a Georgia grand jury next week over his involvement in an alleged attempt to overturn the 2020 election. Now, something else that the department wanted to address, Attorney General Merrick Garland, were the attacks made towards the Department of Justice and the FBI and questioning their credibility that was coming from congressional Republicans and those supporting the president. Attorney General Garland said that he essentially will not stand silently by as their credibility uh, was essentially being uh, questioned, going on to say that the men and women of not only the Department of Justice but the FBI were patriotic public defendants. We're here outside of the White House. I'm Skyler Henry, KPIX 5.